If you take a 5-foot wooden stick that is a half an inch thick and press it on a hydraulic press so that the force is acting axially along its length, you will notice that it will start to bow outwards. This effect is known as buckling. It results from the fact that the stick is too long and thin to stay straight under pressure. Therefore, it buckles and fails at a loading that is way below the actual capacity of the wood material in compression. This loading is known as the Euler's critical buckling load. On the other hand, if you take a 6-inch stick of the same cross-section and press it on a hydraulic press so that the force is acting axially along its length, you will notice that it will not readily bow outwards and will continue to take more force than the 5-foot stick. In this case, the failure will occur as a result of the material crushing in compression. The stick is short and therefore relatively stocky and therefore the failure is not about stability but the raw strength of the wood in compression. In both cases, we are dealing with the same type of wood and the same cross-sectional dimension. However, the difference is the ratio of the length to the least cross-sectional dimension. This ratio is known as the slenderness ratio and it is at the heart of the methodology employed by the National Design Specification in the design of columns. If we take the long stick, the slenderness ratio is 5 feet times 12 inches per foot divided by half an inch which is 120. For the short stick, the slenderness is 6 inches divided by half an inch which is 12. This is 10 times less than the long stick. The key takeaway from this consideration is the fact that as the slenderness ratio increases the failure mechanism shifts from material crushing to buckling.